Hello and welcome back to Sheaf Math. In today's lesson, we're going to have a word problem. We're going to write the equation for it, and then we're going to apply that equation to solve the problem. Now, here's an example that we've used before. Tom has $120. He wants to save up to buy an Xbox for $300. Each month he saves an extra $20. How long will it take him to save the money? Now, some people may be able to do this uh, just by adding $20 to 120 but what we're going to do today is to show you not only how to get the equation for it, which we've done in another video, but we're going to actually apply that equation to solve this. So I know this is kind of easy for some people, but we're going we're gonna to actually use the equation. So the first thing that we do is we're going to have to identify the um, slope and the y-intercept, or the, the rate of change and the um, uh, initial value. So uh, $20 is the uh, rate of change. That's how much he's adding to this account each month. Okay. Now, we have the initial value, which is what he started with, 120, and that is the y-intercept. So we take our generic form of the slope-intercept form, and we put our m 20 and our b 120 in for that, and we have our equation, y equals 20x plus 120. 20 times the months plus 120 initial value equals y, the total that we're looking for. What we're going to do is we're going to use this to solve for the uh, word problem. And the question asks, how long will it take him to save the money? Well, what is the other value that we know? We know 300, and this is the total that he's wanting to get. So we put 300 in for the y, and we're going to solve for x. So we subtract 20 on, 120 on both sides, cancel that out, and we get 180 equals 20x. We divide by 20 on both sides, canceling that out, and that comes out to x equals 9. And so that means that it'll take 9 months for him to save the money. Alright, here's another problem. Javier wanted to get a fish tank for his house. He went to the store and saw that the tank setup would cost $70. The fish were priced at $4 a piece. If he spent $126 total, how many fish did he purchase? Okay, so we are going to find the rate of change. Now, which number here um, is going to make the price go up or down at a constant rate? Well, it depends on how many fish he gets, right? So $4 a piece. So we have 4 for our M. And then the initial value would be how much uh, he had to pay up front. And so he paid $70 for the tank setup. And so that would be his uh, money that he's going to have to pay for whether he gets any fish or not. So we set up our slope-intercept equation, put 4 in for M, 70 in for B. And now what we're going to do is we are going to apply this equation to the question. So if he spent 126 total, how many fish did he buy? So the total price was 126, so we're going to put that in for the total, the y, and solve for x again. So we subtract 70 on both sides, giving us 56 equals 4x, divide by 4, giving us x equals 14. And so the correct answer would be 14 fish is what he purchased. All right. So uh, that just gives you a little idea of um, not only finding the equation from a word problem, but also applying it and solving for the actual equation. Now some of these problems aren't going to be this easy, um, and they'll, they might have decimals or things like that. Also, I always encourage my students to read word problems more than once, two, three, four times, if just so you understand exactly what's going on. All right, well, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.